Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly news update for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Today's is going to be rather short as unfortunately this week we did not get too much. We did get a park management video, however it only shared um, what the vehicles, each vehicle that we will be handling do. However we already have known this information for quite a while and many people, myself included, would agree that we would have preferred another species field guide. Specifically like that new aquatic reptile that we saw in the recent dev diary that showed which many people believe to be a Tylosaurus but we don't know what it is still yet so maybe that'll be next week we'll get that dinosaur revealed but we would have preferred it honestly over what we got. But we're still gonna go over all the news that we have this week starting with an interesting one that I found on Twitter, which is of a comment that was asked about how marine reptiles will work. And Frontier interestingly said this, you're, you will be able to tranquilize and relocate your, your aquatic reptiles outside of their marine exhibits, which for some reason has gotten so many people really excited. I don't know why, unless they're thinking like you'll be able to put it in with dinosaurs in their water spots. I don't think that's the case though because like as we've seen so far your water level will be extremely um, low unless you're planning to place it on the ground and watch it flop to death which that's kind of concerning if that's allowed but I don't think it is. I think it's just you'll be able to say move the Mosasaurus out of its marine enclosure if it's say with Plesiosaurus and it's causing trouble for them and then you have to move it to another one that you've built and I think that's all that it is. I don't think there's anything else to it. So that's it. But now to the park management itself. So as I mentioned before, all you it talked about was really how each vehicle works. Those being the Jeep, the helicopter, and the new mobile veterinary unit. Now we're going to talk about the helicopter first as it's the most simple, which all you do there is tranquilize and relocate dinosaurs back to enclosures which that's all it does now. I believe it, they also said you can take pictures with it just as you could in the um, first game, but I'm not sure on that. Now the Jeep does have a new feature, which is to check the stats of your dinosaurs, which means you go into the enclosure and look at each dinosaur and you'll find out how they are doing in their enclosure, what things they'll need to make it better, what things they want taken out, all those things. And you'll be able to do this automatically by setting up a ranger post inside the enclosure or you can do it manually yourself, whichever you decide. As well as also they'll be able to um, check, take pictures and also shoot flares. And unfortunately they won't be able to tranquilize apparently, which for certain dinosaurs like compies or other small dinosaurs, I wonder how you're going to be able to do that with the helicopter, especially if you're doing it manually. Good God, you thought it was hard in the first game shooting a copy. Now it's going to be impossible. But that's not all. Now we go on to the mobile vet unit, which is stated to do the following. You will be able to check the health of your dinosaurs and also medicate them. And if they have um, any, dis any injuries and stuff, you'll be able to identify them and then if depending on how severe they are you can do them in the mobile vet unit or you will have to transport them to the mobile vet station where they will have their major injuries taken care of and we've seen this already with the allosaurus in the campaign playthrough that we've seen so far where it had a fractured um arm i believe it was and then it was taken to the mobile vet unit and it was medicated because its injuries were too severe. And also that is basically it unfortunately. We do get other things of course like we get to see a new map which I'm pretty sure is the same one that we seen when we got a look at the Ichthyosaurus or as well as the Ceridactylus with Jeff Goldblum of course. But many people are worried about the map size as it appears to be quite a small map. However, there is a stretch of forest there that in the shape of it does lead many people to believe that that will be buildable space in the future, but we do not know about that yet. And if it is, it's probably going to be a thing where campaign mode you'll have limited space as in the campaign playthroughs that we've seen so far. It does appear that um, the 
uh, what's it called? The um, map size is actually quite small, but then when you're driving to find the Allosaurus, it feels like it's like endless. And I think that's going to be the thing, like in campaign your maps will be limited to a small space as you're not building parks, and then in sandbox you will be gifted the um, endless amount of space that they come with. Because they have stated already that the map sizes are going to be bigger than they ever were in the first game, and we have seen this already in some occasions, but just want to let you guys know what I'm thinking. And other than that, all we get to see is better look at some dinosaurs, including half of Diplodocus's body, which looks very nice, very detailed, and a new Allosaurus color. And also there is a other, another carnivore that's shown in the background, however since it's so far out, out we can't identify it, and many people are suggesting it could be Ceratosaurus, as that's one of the species that hasn't been confirmed yet. I don't know if this is true, I'm not going to confirm it, just want to put out people's suggestions so you guys know them and yeah guys that is it for the weekly news update obviously not as much new things at all like the only new thing that we legit got was the um little information about transporting and tranquilizing marine reptiles which wonder how that's gonna work realistically could you just could a helicopter really carry a full-grown mosasaurus well we'll obviously find out in event won't we but guys that is it if you've enjoyed this weekly news update stay tuned for the next one next week as well as any other evolution 2 content we do and what species field guide do you want to see do you want to see that aquatic reptile that we still don't have identified or is there something else like maybe a carnivore or a pterosaur leave in the comments what you guys want to see and if you've enjoyed this video i would appreciate the like and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye